In this video, I will discuss about timers of 8057 microcontroller. 8057 microcontroller is having two timers. They are the timer 0 and timer 1 and these timers can be programmed in 8-bit, 13-bit and 16-bit modes. And as my 8057 microcontroller is in 8-bit architecture which means it handles 8-bit uh, data. Whenever the timer is programmed in 16-bit uh, mode, so it need to be handled as two separate bytes by using uh, the registers TL and TH. These are the four uh, ports of this 8.0.5 microcontroller port 0, port 1 and port 2 and port 3 the port 0 and port 3 in addition to normal IO functions they are having special functions like serial read, serial write, uh, transmit and then external interrupt 0 and 1 and timer 0 and timer 1 so these timers can also be used as counters so whenever these timers are programmed as counters so these pins will come into picture port 3.4 and port 3.5 so on this microcontroller will count the external events that is coming from uh, uh, outside uh, the microcontroller and whenever these uh, timers are programmed as uh, timers so this uh, uh, will get the clock from uh, the microcontroller crystal the edge of an microcontroller timer and uh, counter control special function registers so there are so many sfrs that edge of i1 having and here we are discussing all the special function registers related to this timer and counter control timer uh, mode control register that is t mod timer control register that is t con and tl not th not corresponds to uh, timer 0 and tl1 and th1 corresponds to timer 1 T mod register. So T mod register 8 bits. Uh, here we can see the 4 bits. First 4 bits correspond to timer 0 and uh, last 4 bits correspond to timer 1. And uh, this uh, gate bit, whenever this is cleared, so the timer is enabled uh, by using the TR0 or TR1 bit. Uh, and whenever this uh, gate control bit is set, that is it is 1. So the timer or counter is enabled. Uh, uh, while uh, the interrupt pin is high so in addition to this uh, tr1 control pin the interrupt pin should also be a uh, high and c by t bar is used for uh, selecting the counter or timer so whenever this is one it is uh, as act as a counter and it um, counts the events that is coming from uh, outside uh, uh, application and whenever this is uh, programmed as uh, zero so it uh, gets the clock from uh, the microcontroller crystal and mode uh, 1 and mode uh, sorry mode uh, bit 1 and mode bit 0 these are the two bits which uh, use it for selection of different uh, configuration of the timers that is 8 bit orderly load mode which is a mode 2 and uh, mode 1 is a 16 bit timer mode and mode 0 is a 13 bit timer mode so if you want to uh, select a timer that is timer 1 in mode 1 so the value that need to be loaded in the timer mode here you can see so for last 4 bits correspond to timer 1 so 0, 0, 0, 1, which corresponds to the timer 1 in mode 1 operation and hex value if you see 10 h uh, sorry 10 value need to be loaded in the t mode register and timer uh, control register that is tcon register so tf1 is the uh, timer 1 overflow bit so whenever the timer 1 overflows this bit is set and tr1 is the timer 1 uh, run control bit so whenever this bit is uh, uh, set so the timer 1 is uh, timer 1 starts and uh, similarly the tf0 and tr0 corresponds to timer 0 and ie1 it1 ie0 and it0 uh, corresponds to uh, external interrupts uh, of uh, this microcontroller a microcontroller is having two interrupts that is int uh, 0 and int 1 so for uh, controlling that interrupts and uh, for controlling uh, that interrupts these uh, bits are used this is the microcontroller uh, crystal clock frequency if you represent x frequency then the timer clock frequency is uh, this frequency divided by 12 and for example if the crystal frequency is 12 megahertz then the timer clock frequency is 1 megahertz and this is the block diagram of timer control for mode 0 and mode 1 here the crystal frequency need divided by 12 for timer operation and whenever the timer is uh, started by using the tr bit so the value that is loaded in this uh, th and tl uh, starts counting and whenever it goes from 1 triple f to 0 in mode 0 so the tr bit uh, is set and similarly in mode 1 when uh, this th and tl bits whenever it overflows that is it goes from ff to 0000, 0, 0, 0 the corresponding overflow flag is set here we can see an example timer 0 and mode 1 that is 16 bit mode and if you load the um, uh, th0 and tl0 with the initial values ff 
for free that is 65,530 and whenever this timer is started timer 0 is started by using the TR bit here you can see TF not bit is 0 until um, the timer overflows and whenever this timer is overflowed from FF, FF to F0000 the timer uh, overflow flag TF flag is set this is the time delay calculation so if you want to these timers are used for the generation of the uh, time delays and the required time delay that need to be calculated uh, so by using uh, this uh, formula this is the time delay which is given by ff ff that is 65535 minus yy xs which is the value that need to be loaded in this uh, th and uh, tl registers of the timer 0 or timer 1 uh, plus 1 into uh, 12 by crystal frequency for example if the it is a 12 megahertz crystal frequency then uh, this is 1 microsecond you will get and if you load uh, this th and tl values suppose if you load this th and tl values uh, of 36530 then the required time is uh, we will get is 6 microsecond the steps that need to be done for programming in mode 1 here you can see so we have to load uh, this uh, t mod uh, uh, value in the SFR that is uh, TMOD SFR indicating which timer is to be used and which timer mode is selected and then uh, second step is we have to load the uh, TL and TH registers with initial count values and then we have to start the timer by using TR0 and TR1 and we have to keep monitoring this uh, timer overflow uh, flag TF0 and TF1 and whenever it is set you have to come out of the loop and we have to stop the timer and then we have to clear the flag and then after that we have to again load uh, these uh, values for this uh, next operation this is uh, an example which gives an understanding how to program the timers so in an application we have to toggle the bit port 0.0, .0 continuously for every 50 millisecond so here we have to generate uh, we have to use these timers for the generation of this 50 millisecond time delay so the, we have to generate this pulse in our application it should be 50 millisecond so the time delay that uh, is 50 millisecond and this value we need to be identified here it is 11.0592 megahertz so this is 1.085 uh, microsecond this is 12 by this one we will get this uh, microsecond and the final value that we will get is uh, yy access value that is the value that is need, need to be loaded in this uh, th and tl registers is 4b into fd this value you should load in these registers here you can see we have put an infinite loop and we are uh, tog uh, toggling this uh, bit that is port p0.0 .0. and here this function is called every time so whenever uh, uh, this is uh, called so the timer uh, is a timer 0 in mode 1 so we are using timer 0 in mode 1 that is 16 bit mo mode and this value is loaded and we are starting the timer and we are uh, uh, waiting for the time um, or overflow bit tf not to become one so whenever it becomes one this uh, uh, this will comes out of the loops and this uh, timer we are stopping and tf not bit we are resetting and again uh, this time delay function is started so again we are uh, again loading this uh, initial values so this process continues in an infinite loop that is while if it is an infinite loop so in mode 2 so mode 2 is an auto reload mode here you can see which an 8 bit mode so this is a crystal frequency divided by 12 which is fed uh, to this uh, timer and the value that need to be uh, uh, be uh, loaded uh, in this uh, mode is to be loaded in this th uh, register this is a th register so whenever the timer is started so the th value that is loaded is automatically gets into the tl register and it start uh, incrementing and whenever this overflows this becomes from ff to 00, 00 this overflow flag is set here you can see in this example timer 0 and mode 2 that is 8 bit mode that is auto reload mode if you um, load this uh, value 250 in the th not register so this uh, value is automatically reloaded into the TL and they start uh, incrementing FA to FF and whenever it becomes FF to 00, 00 the timer of flag bit is set. This is the steps to program in mode 2 and everything is same. I have to load the uh, value in the T mode register and uh, then we have to load the uh, register TH with the initial count value and it depends upon the time delay that need to be selected and we have to start the timer and we have to monitor the flag timer overflow flag and whenever this is high we have to out, come out of the loop and we have to stop the timer 
and we have to clear the uh, flag here we can go directly to step 3 that is uh, to again start the timer here there is no need of loading the register because this is auto reload mode so this is the mode uh, example that shows uh, the use of auto reload mode that is mode 2 here in this example we have to toggle uh, the port 1.0 every 0.2 millisecond so and we are using uh, timer 0 in mode 2 so the time delay here is 0.2 millisecond so here it is ff 8 bit mode so 255 is the maximum value and we are using the crystal frequency so 11.0592 here again here 1.085 microsecond and finally the value that need to be loaded in th is uh, uh, x value is 48 and in decimal it is 72 that value need to be loaded here and this is an infinite loop so this is an example that shows uh, the mode 2 that is auto reload mode thank you for watching my video